Hello friends, welcome to day four of our 30 day yoga challenge. I'm Caroline, I am honored that you're stepping back on your mat with me today. So we're gonna start today's practice lying down. Praise the Lord, the best way to start a yoga class, if you ask me. But there's one thing I'm gonna ask you to grab before you lie down. I have a yoga strap here. It's just a long, thin piece of canvas, but you can use a scarf, a towel, a necktie, anything you can find around your house that's long-ish and firm-ish. Because what we're gonna do is lie down on our backs. We'll, we'll soften into that space for a minute or two, and then we're gonna stretch our legs. And so it's really nice to just have something to kind of loop around your foot and hold with your hands so that your arms can just rest and relax, but your legs still get to stretch. If you don't have any of those things at home or you don't feel like getting up and searching for it, no big deal. You can use your arms. Grab one of these if you want to go ahead and use it. Um, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can get updates about new videos. Click here to join our 30-day challenge email list. Every day I've got fresh encouragement and inspiration for you. I'm so grateful you're on this journey with me, so let's just jump in and do some yoga. What a nice shape to start today's practice, huh? Bring your hands to your body so that you can feel the movement of your breath. It might be two hands over your heart or over your belly or one on each. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. And like we've done the previous few days, let's begin to notice how you're arriving today. Notice the sensations in your body. Notice the quality of your thoughts. Notice the energy pulsing through your body. Is it anxious and hurried? Is it sluggish? Is it something different? For the past few days, we've been reading Ephesians 3, 17 through 19. It talks about being rooted and established in love. And so as we start today's practice, I just want to ask you, friend, what, what comes up for you when you hear this phrase, being rooted and established in love? What image or feeling does that evoke in you? What desire might that kindle within you? And as we embark through today's yoga practice, can you sense God's desire for you? God's desire for you to be rooted and established in love, to know how wide, how long, how high and deep is the love of Christ, and to not just know this, like we've said in your brains, or even just your heart, but to know it with a knowing that surpasses knowledge. In order to know more deeply, we need to be honest, curious, surrendered. So God, we welcome your spirit here. Help us to embody your compassion. Help us receive your grace. And help us to know what it means at a deeper level to be rooted and established in love as we move through this embodied prayer practice today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Open your eyes, take a nice big breath in, and then sigh it out your mouth. Good. Draw your right leg in towards your chest. Bend your knee and just kind of hug your knee in. Let the front of your right thigh just really soften. Now, if you're working with some kind of strap, you'll want to loop it around the ball of your right foot. And if you're not, no big deal. We'll start to stretch our right leg up towards the ceiling. And if this kind of bothers your low back, maybe slide your left foot onto the floor to help provide some support. If you don't have a strap, maybe you interlace your fingers behind your right thigh just to give it some support. Head, neck, and shoulders, and arms even are soft. 
And just follow your inhale and exhale. And as you exhale, slowly draw your right leg just a little bit closer towards you. This shape is meant to help us warm up. <laughs> so unless you've already been practicing for 45 minutes, my guess is your muscles need a little bit of help getting warm. So be nice and gentle as we do this. What would it mean to be rooted and established in love in this stretch? All right, slowly release your right leg back down to the floor, either bent or straight, and then hug your left knee in towards your chest. Give it a squeeze, allow your hip flexor to relax. If you're working with a strap of some kind, loop it around the ball of your foot and everyone will stretch our left foot up towards the ceiling. Again, using your exhale perhaps to find a slightly deeper stretch, but doing so with great love, great tenderness, and curiosity. One more breath in here. And as you breathe out, release your left foot down to the floor. Slide both feet onto the mat if they aren't yet with your knees bent. Keep them just as wide as your hips, so not together, not super wide. Start to press your feet down into the floor, and as you breathe in, lift your hips off the mat so that you're in a bridge shape. And I want you to imagine that you could slide your heels back towards your head so that your hamstrings, the back of your thighs, really start to engage. Keep breathing as you lift your belly just a little bit higher. Good. And then nice and slowly roll all the way back down. Hug your knees into your chest. Give them both a squeeze now. And we're going to make our way onto our hands and knees. You can either roll to your side and press yourself up or rock forward and back along the length of your spine until you're seated upright and then roll over your ankles and find yourself in table. Now, once you get to your tabletop position, come up onto your fingertips and then walk your hands over to the right corner of your mat and kind of pull your hips back and down in the opposite direction so you get this nice stretch through the left side of your body. Your head can rest on the floor if it reaches. Good. And then just walk your fingertips over to the left corner of your mat. Hips will pull back and away over towards sort of like the middle right side. Breathing into the back and the side of your right body here. Good. Come back up to the center now. We're going to start to work a bit more in our upper body, which we haven't done a whole lot of quite yet, but like I mentioned uh, in yesterday's practice, we want to start to build up wrist and upper body strength so that these shapes start to feel more stable and familiar in our body. So walk your hands forward, kind of like one handprint, so that we can work our way into a supported plank. We want our shoulders to be stacked over our wrists, and we want our pelvis to be kind of parallel to the floor, so our thighs are going to be at an angle. Keep the tops of your feet planted on the floor. Don't float them up. And this may feel like a lot of work for your body. Just notice that. Okay, we're going to do a little mini push-up here. So keep your elbows hugged into the sides of your ribs and then lower down any amount. Press yourself up and then sit back into child's pose. Okay, this is our little mini sequence that we're going to do two more times. Again, just to warm up our upper body. So inhale, come all the way forward into your supported plank. Exhale, lower any amount. Inhale, press back up. And then exhale back to child's pose. Now, do you remember that ujjayi pranayama, that victorious breath, oceanic breath we did yesterday? Tap into that again as you inhale, roll forward to plank. Audible closed lip exhale as you lower down. Inhale, press back up. And then exhale, sit back into child's pose. Nicely, nicely done. All right, just sit up onto your heels here and bring your hands together in prayer at your heart. Then flip your hands around so the backs of your hands touch like you're doing a reverse prayer. 
And just notice that as you lift your elbows out to the side, you get a little bit more pressure on the backs of your hands and that will give your wrists a stretch. And then we're gonna circle this around. So keep the backs of your hands touching, but just start to turn your fingertips and your palms in and around, inside and out. Again, don't think too hard about this, but let your body kind of lead the way. Nice, and then switch the direction of your circle. You might hear a lot of popping or cracking in your wrists. I sure do. Just as long as you're not moving into any pain, that's pretty normal. All right, release that. Bring your hands to the mat and make your way into downward facing dog. How do you arrive in this shape today? Being rooted and established in love, how can you embody that in the choices you make here? Okay, make your way into a forward fold. So walk your feet to the top of your mat and hang again in this forward bend. Soft bend in your knees. Think about lifting up through the back of your thighs like we stretched out earlier. Good, and then hands to your thighs again. Tuck your tailbone like you're doing cat and round your spine all the way up to stand super, super, super slowly. Head will be the last thing to rise. And when it does, you can breathe in and reach your arms up to the ceiling. And then breathe out. Bring your hands together in prayer at your heart. Take two breaths here to see if you can embody that mountain shape that we really workshopped a couple days ago. Can you root and establish yourself in stillness and strength in your body? Drawing from this foundation of love. Be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God here. Breathe in and reach your arms overhead. Now as you exhale, send your arms out to the side and fold forward, maybe like you were diving off a diving board, but take care not to arch your spine too much. Keep that length in your low back as you fold. Good. Okay, fingertips find the floor. Step your left leg back now and lower your left knee down onto the mat. Crawl your hands up to your right thigh, and we're in a low lunge. Now we'd really love for this right knee to be kind of on top of our right ankle. Not, it might be a little bit far forward, but we don't want it to be drastically far forward. All right, so find that nice angle in your knee. And then bring one hand to the front of your pelvis, one hand to your low back, and lengthen through your low back. Lift up through the front of your belly. Good. Now, if you feel wobbly here, you might just want to keep your hands on your body. If you feel stable, perhaps you explore lifting your arms up and overhead and maybe bending just a little bit more deeply into your right knee so that the front of your left leg gets a nice deep stretch. Use your ujjayi breathing to help focus your awareness and attention into your body. Even though this shape may be stretching, or feel unbalanced, can you use your breath and this deep awareness of God's presence to help bring stability? Okay, bring your fingertips back down to the mat. Tuck your left toes and lift your back knee off the floor and step it forward so that you're back in this forward fold. And maybe you just kind of sway side to side here, integrating that shape into your body. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the right side. So step your right foot back now. Lower your right knee to the mat. Untuck your back toes. Crawl your hands up your left leg so that you're standing sort of on your right knee and your left foot. And I find that if I really press my back, the top of my back foot into the floor, it helps me balance. It's kind of like an, an anchor. One hand to the front of your belly, one hand to your low back if you're able, and just lengthen your tailbone down so that your spine is nice and long, and maybe you keep your hands right there on your hips, or maybe you explore stretching them overhead. Listen to the sound of your breath. Let it be a reminder that God is here with you that each breath is an opportunity to start again, to remember, to draw near. Stay for one more breath in 
And then as you exhale, bring your hands back down to the floor. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee off the mat, step back forward into your forward fold. Again, take a moment to just kind of sway side to side. And then press down through your feet, reach your arms out alongside of you. And as you inhale, stand all the way upright, arms stretch overhead, exhale, hands together in prayer at your heart. This is where we'll close today's practice. So let's close together by taking a big full breath in and a big full breath out and just expressing our gratitude to the Lord. We thank you, God, for your love that goes before us and behind us, that envelops us on each side. Continue to speak to us about what it means to be rooted and established in love and to know you in our bodies. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. What an honor it is to hold this sacred space with you and to draw near to the Lord alongside you. Thank you for meeting with me and the Lord on your mat today, friend. I hope it has blessed you immensely. If you enjoyed this practice and you're hungry for more of it, come and find me in the Yoga Abbey, our online yoga sanctuary for lovers of Jesus, where we practice yoga and meditation and lean into some deep contemplative prayer practices as a global community. It's where I spend most of my time these days and we would love to have you. Just follow this link here for more information. And until then, I'll see you back here on your mat again soon.